Hey, what's up? It's David Myhall here to talk about some more cool burner wallet stuff. If you've used the burner wallet before, it's probably been at some kind of happy hour or meetup. So far, the, the proven use case of burner wallets is to do these really fun, interactive crypto events. The goal of the Burner Factory project was to make it easy for anybody to create their own burner wallet and host their own burner wallet events. I released the first version of the Burner Factory like six months ago. But the problem was that if you wanted to do your own ETH Denver style event, you could use the Burner Factory to create your own wallet, but you still had to have your own token. And that's one of the most important parts. So today I'm gonna to talk about the Token Factory, which is basically just the ability for the Burner Factory to create your own customized token and add it to a Burner Wallet. So let's dive in. So I'm going to go to BurnerFactory.com, log in, sign in with my GitHub account. And right after you sign in, you're taken to this new wallet page. So uh, I'm gonna make a Burner Wallet for a SpongeBob themed event. So I'm gonna call this SpongeBob wallet. Now on this next screen, we get the option. Do we wanna make a new token or do we want to just use existing tokens and assets that are out there? So we're gonna create a new token and go to the next page. So here is where we get to customize the details of this token. So I'm gonna call this SpongeBob coin, symbol SPNG. I will upload a picture of SpongeBob. And I'm going to create an unbacked token on Coven. So this is really just a shitcoin. We can make as many of them as we want and just give them out. Cool. We get to this page of our assets and let's just stick with SpongeBob coin for now. Go next. We'll use all these default plugins here. And I'm going to call this spongebob.burnerfactory.com. Now I'm going to click publish. That's going to deploy this token to the Coven network and then it's gonna compile the wallet and deploy it on a server. So it takes about five minutes to compile a new wallet. We are working on a faster compiler. I'll throw in a plug if you wanna support these developments, check out our Gitcoin grant. But for now, let's fast forward for the next five minutes. It is done. SpongeBob.BurnerFactory.com has been deployed. I can open this up. So here's my burner wallet with a zero SpongeBob coin. So what I'm gonna do now is, since I can mint this token at will, I'm going to copy my burner wallet address, go back to the burner factory to the token section, and I'm going to mint myself six tokens. I click mint here, go back, and look at that, six SpongeBob coin. So now I can send, receive, do whatever I want with this SpongeBob coin. And one really cool thing about these tokens is that by default, they work with gas station network. So you can send and receive these tokens without having any ETH or XDAI or Coven ETH. Every token that's deployed gets a little bit of gas money from the burner factory. You can see the gas station network balance on the token page and there's also an address that you can send more gas money to to top it off. So we've seen how to make a unbacked shitcoin basically, but now let's make a coin that actually has some value. I'm gonna go back to the tokens page, create a new token, and I'm gonna call this Gary Die. It's gonna be a token that's backed by Dai, or specifically it's backed by X Dai, which means every one of my Gary Die will be worth one dollar. I'm gonna make sure that this token type is backed by X Dai on the X Dai chain. And I'm also gonna set a recovery period. Um, let's set it for one hour for now. The point of a recovery period is that you can make tokens that you as the creator can claim back if they're not used. Say you're having an event, you wanna give out a bunch of tokens, you wanna have them backed by DAI, but you don't wanna spend hundreds of dollars creating tokens that mostly are gonna get lost. You can create tokens and after a period of inactivity, you can sweep the unused tokens back into your own wallet. I'm gonna pick a picture for Gary. So now we have this token here. I'm going to save and publish that. So that's gonna publish that onto the XDAI chain. Now our SpongeBob coin, we could just mint as many as we wanted to. The way Gary Die works is that you have to convert XDAI into Gary Die. So I'm gonna go back to wallets, go back to our SpongeBob wallet, and I'm gonna add some new assets. First, I'm gonna add Gary Die, our new token. But also I'm gonna add XDAI. Now that's important if we want to be able to 
let users convert in and out of Gary Die. In the future, we're going to have the ability to whitelist addresses, like who can convert their token in and out of XDAI, but that's not ready yet. I'm also going to add DAI and ETH, just because then users can have the full range of, say someone imports ETH, they can convert that ETH into DAI using Uniswap, they can take their DAI onto the XDAI chain across the bridge, and then they'll be able to convert their DAI into Gary DAI. Kind of a long process, but yeah, whatever. So now we've got all of our assets there. I'm going to click build and deploy again. So this is going to rebuild and redeploy our wallet at spongebob.burnerfactory.com. And again, this is going to take about five minutes. All right, our wallet is done rebuilding. So now let's go check it out. Open wallet. Look at that, we got Spongebob coin, Gary die, X die, die, that's awesome. So I'm going to buy some Gary die within this app. So we're going to copy my address and I'm actually going to take some X die that's in my MetaMask. I'm just going to do 50 cents for now. Boom, it says we've received some funds, 50 cents in X die. So now I can go to the exchange page, take some of that X die, and I'm going to convert 40 cents of that into Gary die. Hit exchange, wait for that transaction to process. Looks like it has. Cool, now I have 0.4 Gary die, and those Gary die are backed by X die, so that's 0.4 US dollars worth of Gary die. Now the Burner Factory also has some mechanisms for creating paper wallets, airdropping a bunch of tokens to them, but I'll talk about that in the next video, but you're welcome to go play around with those on your own. And between all of that, that's basically all you need to do a really cool Burner event. So if you are a meetup organizer or you just wanna do an event like this with your friends, definitely check it out. If you have any questions or something is not working, feel free to shoot me a message on Telegram or Twitter. And awesome. Thanks for watching.